fight coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Once again, Ladies here is the veteran voice of the octagon, this is Bruce the Buff. Main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. underway and we've got a striker who is of course to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman he blocks the punch Massive head kick! Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Just unable to quite find that range. Looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Oh, 
Just out of range with that left hook. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Can't take many of those, you better check. And he landed the right hand there. Right punches there. Three minutes to go. Let's go, guys. Work. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Plus, right hand is true. Going orthodox now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Kind of does. It doesn't feel good to be kicked. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Pretty good right hand. Oh, connects with the one-two. Slips to avoid that one. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a type of class or something like that. Big kick lands. Looked like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight punch lands. Again, they clinch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. seconds to go. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. you got to do better defensively. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Got clip with the right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. 
The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice kick. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, huge plus! Uppercut is true! are throwing back and forth. Big elbow there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Just out of range with that strike. Got the single collar side. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, and the gentleman lands another punch there. He is keeping the strike counters busy tonight. The counts are high, but it's also the timing at which he lands these strikes. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Sound strike on the ground. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. That's a big strike right there. Connects with a right. Final seconds here of round two. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw a combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again, 
he will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Now a knee! Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh! Oh! Coleman, now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Hands high, hands high. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a man right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has what he has. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch over the top. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And he counters with a left hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at the turtle in that kick. That knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. Nice punch, Lynch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Way to hide that leg kick. Big head kick. Single collar tie here. Big kick land. Straight right hand, no good. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to get and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Okay, okay. let's focus. Let's focus now. Cable. Oh, my You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness, even if you have to speak right now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there.
Straight right, he misses. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Huge block there. Nice punch there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Pretty good shot. Rock. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Nice kick there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Blocks the shot. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with the shot. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Trying to do game. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. He got him. around for too long. Oh, he got him hurt bad! Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, his opponent swarming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. And he is back up to his feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands. Oh, that's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. It's right now. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Beautiful knee. 
Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Grandmaster. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.